I almost fell. Hi everyone, what's up? Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jessie, and today's video is going to be another drugstore palette because I noticed that you guys love that. So it is from the brand Koki Professional. I got I discovered the brand when I went to Beautycon last year because Johnny took me there as like a more of like a birthday gift or something. So I can't really remember. I do apologize. I know I'm bad. So they have released three types of palettes. These are not like new, new, new palettes. I've seen this before on Instagram. However, I wasn't able to get my hands on them because if you guys know me, I don't really like buying anything online. Speaking of online, I bought the Norvina palette. It's supposed to be delivered today. I was so excited. And then I clicked on the tracking number and it says it's going to be delivered next week, which is 24. So it kind of like defeats the purpose of me like getting it early to review it, which kind of sucks. Now, these are the times that PR is getting handy. So anywho, back to the topic. So I believe the original price of this one is $11. I got it at Walmart. I got it on clearance for only $7. They do have three types of palettes. This is going to be the one that I'm going to be reviewing today, which is the Utopia palette. They have the Peachy Queen and they have the Treasure palette. So if you guys wanted to know what I what are my thoughts about these two palettes, make sure you subscribe because obviously I'm going to be reviewing them for you. So this is what the packaging looks like. It has a little bit of, when you look at it this way, it has a little bit of height. Am I weird? Like it has a like a little platform of glass, clear plastic or acrylic plastic. Sorry if I'm bad at describing, but I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to give you guys a close up. And then at the back, you will see all of the name of the shades, which is perfect if you are going to do a tutorial. Now, I really do appreciate that because some people just put like a plastic overlay with the names on it. I mean, who keeps that, you know? <laughs> Let's open it up. There's a plastic protector here too. You will be getting a really nice mirror as well. And here are all your eyeshadows. It's nice. There's like a transition shade over there too. And of course, as always, I'm going to give you guys some swatches before we test this out. I'm going to be starting in the first row. Ooh, that is really nice. It's pretty as a highlight. This is more of like a yellow banana shade. And then you have this flesh looking like color, which is also matte. And you have the peach shade, which... I'm gonna zoom my hand in so you guys have a better view of it, okay? There you go. That is so highlighty. That's nice. Okay, the next row. Girl, these are powdery. Not gonna lie, like, it's powdery. But let's see. So this is the last row. Ooh, the last row is killing it. The last row is definitely killing it. So these are all your shades. Camera, please focus and behave. Stop focusing on my eyes. The swatches, some of them are good. Some of them are kind of like just okay, you know? So let's go ahead and try this on our eyes because I'm also really excited. Every time I have like a new palette, it gives me like the chills, you know? Like I'm so excited. So I'm going to zoom myself in. So I'm going to get this shade and apply that all over my lid as my wash color. By the way, I am still disappointed about my Norvina palette being late. Set. Should be reviewing that today. Even got so excited about it. It's supposed to be delivered today and Tuesday. Like, what a difference. Like, I don't understand. But probably because of the high volume. But... No, you shouldn't be like saying that it's supposed to be delivered on Tuesday and uh, on Friday and then all of a sudden it's gonna be like Tuesday next week Looks good, but just be careful because there's a lot of fallout Okay, moving on to the next shade. I'm gonna get this shade and put that on my crease and then I'm going to follow it up with this shade right over here. Now moving on to the darker pink. I 
want to do like an all matte look today. Now I'm going to get this really nice purple shade right over here. I really think that it's super pretty. And I'm going to apply that on the center of my lid and I'm going to pack it. Once I'm satisfied, I'm going to be stopping. What? So I'm using a small brush for that. Ooh, that's nice. I am always impressed with an eyeshadow that sticks to my lid, even if it's completely set. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy with this, okay? So I decided to use like a bigger brush because it's taking me a long time to oblivion to finish it and I got a roll. I used this brush and this was from Tarte, I believe it's from a limited edition collection around like December time. So I just literally like dabbed it like that. Let me show you. Look how crazy beautiful that is. It's beautiful for me, okay? Because I know someone out there, oh, you look like a clown. And then I'm going to go over again with a pink and then just blend away. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to put on some mascara, put on some lashes, and then I'm going to be using the same purple eyeshadow under my eyes to give it a really nice smoky eyed look. And then I will be right back and give you guys my overall thoughts. And now we are finished. So this is the final look that I have made today using the Artistry Palette Utopia. So, not Artistry, <laughs> Artist Palette Utopia. I definitely enjoyed this palette. At first, I was like, hmm, I was a little bit skeptical because when you look at the palette, it kind of looks weak in the pen, but the colors do apply very well. They are really nice, pigmented, blendable. So yeah, these are definitely one of those palettes that swatch very weakly, but when you put it on your eyes, you will be shocked. So for the price point, I definitely think that it is affordable. And it is really nice and sleek. You can definitely bring this when you travel. It has a really nice large mirror that comes along with it. So yeah, I am pretty satisfied. I can't wait to try the rest of these palettes in the collection. If you guys want to see them, definitely subscribe. Hit the like button and comment down below. So let me know what you think. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.